Okay, we're going to run in place for one minute. Okay, we want to get ourselves moving. Ready, set, go. Go ahead, run in place. Pick up those legs, get the blood flowing. Frankie looks like she's running in the flower pasture. Exactly. You're running in the flower. We have 25 seconds left to go. Keep going. You can do it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Feet together, touch your toes. Keep those knees straight. Okay, feet apart. Over to your right hand side. Swing over to your left. And then to the middle. Reach all the way through your legs, making sure that your knees are straight. Okay, go ahead, sit down on the floor. Okay, this is where you're going to want to use that pillow or cushion. Okay, we are going to use. Okay, you're going to sit in your straddle and you're going to put your right foot up onto whatever it is that you need to put it onto. So the cushion, the pillow, okay, if you're really advanced, you can lift it even higher than this, okay? So the higher that you do it, the more difficult it's going to get, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is turn towards our right foot, turn your shoulder towards your right foot, and lean towards that foot and grab around your foot. Hold that there. Make sure you wrap both hands around your heel. If you're not at this point, that's okay. Just sit on the floor and don't raise that foot. That's okay too, okay? But if you're more advanced than this, pick it up even higher. You can go as high as a chair. Okay, sit up. Put up your left hand. Reach it over to your right foot. We always want to make sure that our feet are turned back and no space is between here. Keep your booty cheeks on the floor. Hold that. Five, four, three, two, one. Get up. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. Okay, so put your pillow underneath your left foot. Okay, we're going to face our left foot. Reach down and grab your hands around that foot. Hold that position. Go ahead and sit up, put up your right hand and reach over to your left foot. Making sure your shoulders are turned up to the ceiling. Your goal is to look up, pull that out 
elbow back. Every time you hear that, your butt comes up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit up. Okay, take that foot off of what you have raised it and just sit in a regular straddle. Go ahead and lean forward to the center. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Okay, now we're taking our pillow, we're pushing, and we're putting it back underneath our right foot. Okay, back underneath your right foot, and we're going to be up on our elbows. Okay, hold that there. If you don't have something to raise it up on, you can just be doing a regular straddle stretch at this time, okay? Just do a regular straddle stretch if you don't have something to put it on. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, lower down. Okay, we're gonna switch it to the left foot. Put your left foot on it. Good, and then straddle down on your elbows. Hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower down. Okay, take your left foot and put it behind you. You don't need your, your lifting thing anymore. Okay, we're gonna go over to that bow and arrow stretch again. So put your left arm up and reach over to your foot. Hold it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch to the other side. Put your right leg behind you. And over, left arm up. And over and grab that foot. Hold it. 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sit up, straighten out your right leg again, and then curl in your left leg. Curl your left leg in. Good, okay. You did these last time. We're going to try and pick up a bow and arrow using our legs here, okay? So the goal is for you to use the muscles that you have in your hips to kick this right foot up and catch it with your left hand. So we're going to start with our left hand up, okay? We're starting with our left hand up, and we're going to try and kick up our right foot and grab it, okay? Ready? Five, six, seven, kick it up. Good, hold it, three, two, one. Put it down, good, we're gonna do this five times. Ready, left hand up. Five, six, seven, kick it up. Really pull. Okay, put it down. We have three more to go. Ready, five, six, seven, kick it up. Hold it, put it down. We have two more to go. Five, six, seven, kick up. Hold it, put it down. Last one, five, six, seven, kick it up. Good, so our goal is really to try and get your shoulder through and your leg behind you, okay? So notice it's difficult to do without a little extra help. 
okay? But if, you, if you're really strong, you should be able to pull through. Let's switch to the other side. Ready? Right arm up. Five, six, seven, kick it up. Hold it and put it down. Good, ready? Right arm up. Five, six, seven, kick it up. Hold it, put it down. Good job. Arm up and five, six, seven, kick it up. Pull it through, hold it, put it down. Two more, right arm up and five, six, seven, kick it up. Pull it through, hold it, put it down. Last one, right arm up. Five, six, seven, kick it up. Hold it, pull it through, put it down. Okay, all right. We need to move on to our, our split stretches. Okay, so first, go up onto your knees. We're gonna stretch out our hips. If you want to, you can put your pillow in front of you and we'll modify it without. So go ahead and put your right foot forward. Put your foot on the pillow. Okay, put your hands on your hips and lean forward into that hip. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sit back. Leave that foot up there. Straight leg in the front. Grab your foot. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Lower down. Now we're going to actually do our split. So Charlotte is raising her foot. Frankie's raising her foot a little bit. You don't have to raise your foot at all if you do not have any splits. Okay, but if you have both splits, you should be raising your front foot now. We're going to slide into our right split. Go ahead, slide into your right split. Okay, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lean forward and grab your hands around your heel. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sit up. And we're going to lean back and grab our back foot. If you can't do it, then that's okay. Just try to lift your back foot. Hold it. Try to grab that back foot. 10, 9, you can get it. 8, 7, good trying. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, almost. One, <laughs> let it go. Okay, come down from those splits. Good job. I know, it's tough on your back. Okay, switch to the other side. Okay, remember we're gonna be up on our knee, left leg in the front, hands on hips, and we're leaning forward. Hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Sit back, straight leg, straight left leg. Grab your hands around your foot. Hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and slide into that split. Hold that, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lean forward, grab around your heel. Make sure that your shoelaces are facing the floor in the back. Hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, sit up, and we're trying to lean back. So we're either bending up our back leg, grabbing it if we can, and holding it. 10, 9, 
One. Good job. Lower down. Go ahead and go get a drink. When you come back, bring your chair or whatever it is that you need to hold on to. Quick drink. Quick drink. Quick drink. Okay. Come back in five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, the first thing we're going to start with is hips. Frankie's going to hold the chair. Charlotte's going to hold the wall. Okay, we are doing 20 kicks with our right leg. Remember that our shoelaces need to be turned out. We should be lifting with our heel rather than turning this way and lifting with our hip. Okay, so we're lifting with our heel. Our hips need to stay square. We're lifting 20 times. Okay, we have to kick hard. Ready? Also, make sure that we're not doing this with our midsection. Okay, we need to stay nice and tight here. Tighten your booty, lifting your chest, lifting your chin. Okay, so pretend your chin is resting on something. We don't want it to keep moving. It's got to stay in one spot. Okay, here we go. 20 kicks, right leg. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. One, down. Two, down, three, down, four, go, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Switch to the other side. Ready? Left leg kick. Keeping your core tight, chin up. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Go ahead, go to the other side. We're going back to our right leg and we're kicking to the back, still holding on with our left hand. Okay, we, we need to be kicking up hard and squeezing our booty. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. One, two, harder. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Harder, Frankie. Eleven. There we go. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch to the other side. Ready? Five, six, seven, kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, now we're going to face our chair or our wall. We're gonna kick with our right leg, okay? We really need to concentrate on keeping our head up. And when we're kicking this time, we wanna kick up high, okay? Point through our toe. And we want to make sure that our back stays up because we want to work on arching our back. Okay, so we're going to do 10 on the right leg and 10 on the left leg. Okay, if you're on a wall, you want to try and put your hands up as high as you can. Okay, if you don't have a wall to hold on to, it's okay, just hold on to the chair. But our goal is to make sure that we're reaching high. This way we keep our chest up. Okay, 10 kicks on the right leg. Kick hard, arch your back. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We're going to switch to the left leg. Same thing. Make sure we're arching our backs. It's very likely 
that you have a good side and a bad side. Most people have a good side and a bad side. So one side that you're more flexible on and the other that you're not as flexible and that's okay. But we always wanna make sure that we are treating each side equally, whether it's your good side or not, okay? So that's, we're gonna do the left side now. Here we go, ready? Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, pick it, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, come away from your chair for now. Move it out of the way. We're going to stretch out our arms because that's important for scorpions and scales. Go ahead and kneel down on the floor. We're going to do a cat stretch first. So booty down and stretch our arms out in front of us. Sit your booty all the way to the floor. Good, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and lay down on the floor, on your belly, arms out in a T position. Okay, we are going to take our left foot and try and touch it to our right hand. So go ahead, Charlotte, to your left foot. Yep, we're going to reach over. Okay, arms in a T. Put your hands up to the ceiling. Try to put that other hand up. Hold it, five, four, Three, two, one, good job. Go back down to your belly. Arms in a T position. We're gonna take our right foot and we're gonna lift it and try and touch our left hand. Go ahead and put the other hands up to the ceiling. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, we're gonna push up to a cobra stretch. Put your hands by your armpits. Push up, look up to the ceiling, and lower down. Push up, and lower down. Push up, and lower down. Push up one more time. Now touch your feet to your head. Keep your belly button as close to the floor as possible. Hips down, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Okay, sit up, and I need for you to sit with your feet in a pike position. Sit on your booty, pike position, put your hands behind you, and we're going to crawl our fingers out towards the back, so we're stretching underneath our armpits. Go ahead, pull them out, and go as low as you can go to where it's uncomfortable but not hurting. Okay, hold that position. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Walk them back in. We're gonna do that one more time. Go ahead, pull them out. And hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Okay, go ahead up onto your knees in a crawling position. Okay, we're gonna work on our backs. We're doing scaredy cat, which is a curled back, really lift, and then happy cat, where we drop, okay? And head comes out and booty sticks out. We're gonna do that 10 times. Okay, ready, scaredy cat. And five, six, seven, switch, happy cat. And pull scaredy cat. And happy cat, that's two. Scaredy cat, happy cat. Three, and scaredy cat, happy cat. Four, scaredy cat, and happy cat. Five, scaredy cat, and happy cat. Six, and scaredy cat, happy cat. Seven, scaredy cat, lift, happy cat. Eight, scaredy cat, happy cat. Nine, scaredy cat, happy cat. 10, good job. Pull, pull your hands off the floor, so sit up, booty up, and we're gonna lean back, okay? Do not let your hands touch, okay? We're gonna lean back and arch our backs for 30 seconds. Ready? Lean back. Okay, don't let your hands touch. Hold it, 30, do not let your hands touch. Lift your hands up. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 
18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up. Stand up. Put your hands behind your head. And we're going to reach back 10 times. Okay, make sure you're squeezing your core. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Go one and up. Go two and up. Go three and up. Four, up. Five, up. Six, up. Seven, up. Eight, up. Nine, up. Ten, up. Good. Okay, at this point, we are going to do a bridge. Okay? If you don't have a bridge, you may do a tabletop. But both Charlotte and Frank, you're gonna do bridges. So arms up. You can push up to a bridge if you don't have a standing bridge. Go ahead, go down to the bridge. Hold it. Now put your knees together and push into your shoulders, straight knees. And if you can, try and go down onto your elbows. You can pull your feet back in if you need to. Go back down to your elbows. Hold that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on, back up to that bridge if you can. And either lower down or stand up. Good job. We're going to do that one more time. I'm going to talk you through some more advanced stuff as we do that one, but if you're just at a bridge, do the bridge, okay? Ready, last one, ready? Arms up and back, good. Lower down to your elbows if you can. If you can walk your feet to your hands, then go ahead and do that. Try and grab your ankles with your hands and hold that, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, lower down or stand up from that bridge. And we have one last exercise to do and then we're done. You're going to want something to hold on to. Okay, either your chair or a wall. Okay, we did these last week. So you're gonna keep one hand on your chair or your wall. The other hand that's free is going to be the one that's going to be doing the grabbing or the slapping if you can't grab. Okay, so for instance, Charlotte's right hand is up. That means she's lifting her left leg. Okay, so whatever arm is up, you're doing the opposite leg. Okay, and your goal is to either touch or grab the foot that comes up behind you. Go ahead, demo. Okay, you want to try and grab. Okay, we're going to do 15 on each side and then we're done for today. Okay, if you can grab it, great. If you can't, that's okay, keep working at it. The girls are still working at it too. Ready, arm up, here we go. Whichever you like, as long as it's opposite. Ready, five, six, seven, go. One, and go two, go three, go four, go five, almost six, go seven, go eight, Go nine, go 10, five more, go 11, go 12, go 13, go 14, and 15. Good job, switch to the other side. Ready? Arm up, we're grabbing that opposite foot. Here we go, ready? Five, six, seven, go. One, go two. Go three, go four, go five, go six, go seven, go eight, go nine, go ten, five more, go eleven, go twelve, go thirteen, good trying, fourteen, one more, fifteen. Good job, everybody. Okay, that's it for this week. Please remember that you want to try and be 
grabbing your body positions three to five times per week. You will see an improvement if you do it that often. Okay, so that's something that I've been working on with the girls. It is not easy to get the body positions that you want. I completely understand. But the more you stretch, the better you're going to get at it. And also, the more you strength train, the better you're going to get at it too. Okay, overall great job. We'll see you again tomorrow at 4.30 for conditioning class. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.